Hello, my name is Shirley Self and I'm here to talk astrology. And today I wanted to try to talk about Neptune because the United States is uh, in the midst of its Neptune, Neptune opposition. It's already had two uh, oppositions. One of them happened on uh, the 21st of August and one happened the 1st of May. And another one will um, bless us on the first, around the 1st of March. Neptune, like I say, is hard to talk about. Virtually, you know, it's the Tao. It's everything. It's the, the sea we swim in is Neptune. The oceans are Neptune, of course, but this um, grand fluidity that we live in is um, an illusion. And that illusion is a Neptune. Excuse me, I've got a nose issue here. All is illusion. The world is in a fluid state until you walk in it with your um, energy pattern and transform it into a mirror of you. Neptune is the mirror the illusion we all look into. And it's wise to understand that, that the world reflects, the world, my world reflects me. I am at the center of the world. Your world reflects you. You are at the center of the world. I remember a long time ago when I was a little more um, daring and I first time I took acid, I uh, learned a really important thing. I learned that uh, the world is transformed, my world is transformed by um, my emotional attitude. I, uh, I sat there listening to music and could um, turn the music into evil or, or, or blessings by just switching my attitude toward it. Um, I, I learned this on the Rolling Stones because they were playing Sympathy for the Devil and all of a sudden I saw a horn sprout out of the, uh, out of the um, hi-fi. And that's when I, I realized that I was in control. That I was in control. That's Neptune. Your uh, life is your own illusion. It is broadcast from your um, um, your chakras, all seven of them, and um, and it is uniquely yours. You see it your own way. Um, so, um, now what we're enduring in the United States, and actually, uh, well, probably everybody's in everybody in the United in the world is enduring uh, trauma and pain. In the United States, our trauma and pain is uh, defined by the aspects it's making, uh, these outer planets are making, to our natal planets. Let me show you the United States here. Let's see what's going on. Okay, um, so Neptune is here in our third house of communication, opposing uh, our natal Neptune. Our Pluto has been all the way up to here, almost to the 27 uh, degree, and then backed off. And it will come again and um, um, hit that Pluto, and then probably back off again. Uh, it takes a while for a Pluto transit to, to get off your stuff. Anyway, so we've got Pluto right here. We've got Neptune right here, opposite that. We've got, where's, oh, uh, and Uranus is over here in conjunct the Mar, the Saturn, sorry. And uh, the Saturn, transiting Saturn, is right here on our south node. So this is a very important uh, time for us. Very important time for us. Um... The Neptune right here, um, opposing that Neptune, it's squaring the Mars, and it's so it's forming at T-square. 
And what that transiting Neptune is doing is it's increasing our ability to tell the truth from fiction. And um, suddenly uh, truth is um, it's under attack, but it has been under attack in the United States for a long time. Notice our natal Neptune in that Mars square. And so we're very vulnerable to propaganda. And this Neptune up here, it's intercepted, and it is um, virtually run by mm, big business. So, um, um, so the way propaganda has defined our country and our goals are very much uh, locked into what big money, big money right here, Jupiter. Uh, Venus conjunction there. What big money decides it wants to do. And what big money wants to do is to make money. So um, so that's... Uh, um, oh, and Neptune going through the, uh, the third house, transiting through your third house, for instance, and it's transiting in my third house right now, is... Um, it's a... a virtually a test of truthfulness because um, you know you can uh, kind of twist things a little bit, put a little spin on things to so that they what they're broadcasting is uh, in favor of your own uh, attitude or, uh, or in favor of what you want it to say. It's interesting that in a certain parts of the world, spin is the name of the witch. So anyway, um, it having that Neptune transit one's third house means that you will, um, virtually you will pay, uh, you'll lose because of, um, of the misrepresentation of um, spin that you put on the truth. So, um, I've got a definition of Neptune from Robert Hand, and I thought it was really interesting. So let me read that. Everything that one dreams of making come true, everything that one dreams of making come true, as well as everything one thinks is true, even though it isn't, comes under the influence of Neptune. Neptune dissolves what Saturn builds. And so as you get in a Neptune a transit, it you know, your habits, your ego, um, all those things that virtually Saturn boxes you in, and over time it boxes you into narrower and narrower and narrower uh, straits. And what uh, uh, Uranus does as it um, aspects your, um, your cement is it shakes it. And shakes it apart. Neptune dissolves it. Pluto just blows it up. So that you can start over. So, um, some of the things that Neptune, Neptune uh, rules, um, it rules the occult, it rules prison, it rules oil, it rules scandal, it rules treachery. It also rules uh, the dance and meditation and good things like that. But uh, you can see as this Neptune-Neptune opposition is happening here, how uh, those um, issues of uh, prisons, the scandals, the oil and treachery have come up and are uh, available to be talked about and discussed, which is what you have to do when you've got that Neptune-Neptune opposition. You really need to pay attention to what you, how you've been deluding yourself. The United States is really um, <laughs> easily, it, we easily delude ourselves. We can deny our, our past. Why? Because this Neptune is intercepted, and that helps us a lot to just deny our, uh, how we uh, murdered and uh, robbed until... Um, United States of America took over this whole country. How, um, why we go to war? We've had two wars that we're proud of. Um, 
the First and Second World War. They had seemed to have a, a good reason to fight those wars. Oh, if you dig deeper into them, you think, oh my God, everybody was crazy. So, um, but the rest of our wars, and we go to war, Lord notice our Mars here uh, pointed outward. It used to be pointed outward. Now that Neptune is uh, progressing, ne our Neptune, sorry, our progressed Mars is retrograde, so it's pointing inward, and boy, doesn't it feel like that. Um, but that, that Neptune, it, it, because we never go in, we never go to war, um, straight up and honestly. Um, our, our government has to lie to get us to go to war. And that's, that's the lies. It's just also, um, uh, thing, reason we're having to deal with, you think about the things that Virgo rules, and they Virgo rules virtually rules the sixth house of, of service, uh, the military, the, um, the police, um, nurses, doctors to a certain extent, although doctors uh, seem to uh, qualify for a little higher um, power, so uh, might be in this ruling the seventh house, doctors. So, uh, and you can see how the difficulty, because this Uranus down here uh, just just shows our intolerance, our intolerance. So um, we got it up here. This Nept our Neptune is in our belief system, and um, and ninth house rules immigration, it rules higher education. And you know we've had this myth for a while, uh, and Neptune rules myths of uh, how you have to have to have a college education in order to get ahead. Some of the most successful people I know of uh, don't have a college education and uh, didn't need one to get ahead. Bill Gates pops in mind. Um, my son, another, uh, who... Uh, and, and what about plumbers? How much college does a plumber need or want? A carpenter. Anyway, there's a myth. This, this up here, the Neptune, has all these myths about what's uh, true. And um, the denial, one of the real myths that really hurts the United States is our, um, our myth of exceptionalism. So, and virtually, um, that I think comes because of the great pride we have in our Constitution, which is virtually the only exceptional thing about us. Because every other, in every other way, our, our country, our government, our military has done what all governments and militaries do is they go and um, steal from other people because they have the power to do that. And that's been traditionally what governments do. Um, if you have the power, yeah, you push that neighbor over off that pot of gold and take it for yourself. That's called war. So, um, this uh, Neptune up there, it, all, all those myths uh, that uh, we comfort ourselves with, the myths of the gunfighter, the myth of the gunfighter, oh God, are we seeing the uh, negative results of that one? So all these myths are busting open and being, uh, uh, being shown, being talked and thought about. Um, I have a, a quote from a poem of Yeats here. We have fed the heart on fantasies, the heart's grown bitter from the fair, more substance in our enmities than in our love. And it's interesting to me because our North Node is up there in love. The actions that we take in the world, all this power points outward to make a difference in the world. It's like our mission is to bring uh, comfort and democracy <laughs> to the world. Now, we always say we're, we're doing that. We're exporting democracy. But you don't export democracy <laughs> with guns. You export democracy with food. 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 And the comforts of home, homes. So, and that's so. Uh, 
But um, this Saturn over here, which is in our, our government, so mid-heaven here, notice the Neptune is the higher elevated planet. It's higher. This is our obligation. This Saturn over here is square. This um, our sun and is ruled by this Venus, this insecure Venus in Cancer, whose only security is to hang on to that Jupiter, that exalted Jupiter in Cancer next door, to give her security. We, we really feel we need the rich to make us secure. And um, the rich are the only ones that are secure. They've uh, managed, they have the Federal Reserve. <laughs> they are they're secure. You're not. So, anyway, what else do I want to tell, tell you about this? Um, so the U.S. Neptune up there, it, that's our creative genius. The United States is a moon phase 18. A moon phase 18. And our uh, creative genius is uh, moon phase 12. Let me show you that right away here. Here's a moon phase 18. Most, most difficult very difficult. Um, it's an initiation phase and the challenge is to uh, give up the ideals of the past and for the United States that means to give up uh, the old uh, power hungry governmental ideals of if I've got the power I will take that. If I've got the power I will send my soldiers in and I will take that away from you because I need it. And um, to give that ideal up and to actually focus into our job, which is to make the world a more secure and safe place. Here's our uh, body of fate over here at moon phase 26. Now, uh, moon phase 18 is uh, ruled by the tower. You know that Mars... Um, it's, the tower is ruled by Mars. It is a connection between Mercury and Venus. And it says, if you want it, if you decide what you want and go after it, that's at Mars. And uh, the, tower, the tower says, get off your high horse and work. So um, that says, get off your high horse and get to work. That's uh, uh, over here, at the uh, uh, mask moon phase four, and that mask is our, our Mars, our Uranus, um, is to use that, uh, the Mars and Uranus information, to use uh, our information very aggressively, but uh, benignly, it is square Neptune, to make changes in the world, to... Um, Make friends with the world. Okay, and so then our um, creative genius is down here. It's a moon phase 12. And the um, body of fate is up here at moon phase 26. And 12 and 26 are, um, well, they're all initiation phases, and none of them comfortable and none of them easy. But here's the uh, card for 12 and 26. It's the emperor. Now notice the uh, the ram there. This guy is it's Aries. This card is uh, ruled by Aries. So it's Mars. And um, it has in its hand the orb of dominion. Now the orb of dominion is the clarity that comes to a... Whoops, I got just put it away. Moon phase 26. That clarity is not usually a comfortable thing because with that clarity in Moon Phase 26 can see every mistake made throughout their, uh, and acknowledged throughout their uh, history in that cycle to see how uh, they've failed themselves. And uh, so we've got Neptune down here who uh, wants us to look at the truth and acknowledge it uh, and we're dealing with an awful lot of denial, a critical race theory. You know, the, uh, somehow the South, their uh, denial of uh, the true motives of the uh, true reasons for the uh, Civil War 
are infecting a huge number of people just because it just seems to be a, a path to contrariness that uh, the United States is very uh, prone to contrariness, uh, Aquarius, contrariness, Uranus. Um, so the when we talk about 26 and that clarity, up here is um, a, a, a moon phase 12, which is dive into yourself, the answers are there. Your answers are, are, are there. Dive into yourself. Um, pay attention to your subconscious. It will give you the answers. So, um, and that is, uh, and do it. Do it. <laughs> you know, it's a, these both, both these cards for the uh, 4 and 18, is that card is the tower ruled by Mars and uh, the emperor which rules um, 26 and 12 so it's do it get on with it and so we should actually have a good good um, reasons to be utilizing that Mars turned out and we can utilize it correctly if we ever develop um, co the compassion that that uh, Square to Neptune demands. The our our uh, Neptune is uh, elevated, so that's definitely the sacrifice of self self interest is our is our thing. Work for the common good. Um, so let's let's look at the first pass of Neptune. Um, it hit this, it hit, okay, this is the first time, um, Neptune first opposed our natal Neptune on the 1st of March in uh, 2022. And so what was happening here? What was happening here was, uh, notice the Sun, Jupiter, and Neptune are all in Pisces, and they're all pretty tight. Uh, the Sun and Jupiter are conjunct. And Neptune is within the uh, realm of their influence. And there he ruled the house of illness. And but we and um, we've got so we've got Pisces. And virtually what it looks like is failure. This is a moon phase. Oh wait, this is the this is the last one. This is coming up. Let me go back. I'm so sorry. Here's the here's the what first of May. 2021, and you can see the ascendant here is ruled by this Jupiter, which is conjunct as the uh, moon at the United States, and so there's that uh, refusal, south node is up there in Sagittarius, refusal to um, deal with what needs to be dealt with, which is simply <laughs> wearing a mask, come on guys. No cloth covering over my nose, thank you. <laughs> my nose wants to drip in public. Okay, <laughs> so the, that shows the chaos that was going on in, in May. And here's the chaos that was going on in August, and this is a moon phase 13. And that's a demand to look within. L look within, bring its, you know, it follows a twelve. And uh, whereas 12 is that we finally made connection. 12 is finally made connection with its um, uh, emotional understanding, its emotional connection to spirit. Now what 13 has to do is to bring all that inspiration, ideas, creativity that is available because the um, emotions are connected to spirit right down in your gut to bring it out and put it to work. So that's the moon phase 13. Did we bring it out and put it to work? No, there's a Saturn right there. So moon is, uh, and Jupiter is conjunct the um, moon of the United States right there at that connection. So let's get back here to where I uh, started. And this is a moon phase two. 
Now, a moon phase two, that's where the energy is dumped in. That's where the energy, and it could reflect the money that is, begun, that is going to be dumped in to, uh, should the government, should Congress and the Senate ever agreed on what kind of uh, finances are available to uh, dig us out of this terrible hole, this terrible dilemma we're in. So Moon Phase 2 has the, has the resources to do that, has the power to do that. All it has to learn to do is just do what's right at hand, do it, do it now, and there will be something else right behind it. Don't go, don't go overthinking things. Don't go overthinking things. Just see what has to be done and do it. But we still have these contraries up here in the uh, in uh, Aquarius, in the 12th house. And um, they look permanent. I don't know. I don't know. This is a workable chart. This is a workable chart. There's going to be those that say, we need to go on the way we've always gone on because I need the money. And um, there will be those that say, wait, wait, have a little, have a little consideration for the state of the world and the state of the poor people within it. We'll see. We'll see. Um, oh, I was, I was going to, Let's see, I was going to talk about the myth of the, um, the myth of critical race theory as a uh, plot against the United States happiness. Just a minute, I'll be right back. I have a quote for uh, Mr. Stevens, who was the vice president of the civil, of the Confederacy. There. Now, I have had arguments with a dear, dear friend of mine about this issue because what he was taught, he was born and raised in Georgia, he was taught was that the Civil War was about uh, states' rights. States' rights. I'm going to read here from Alexander Steve Stevens, Vice President of the Confederacy. The Confederacy's foundation, the foundations were laid, its cornerstone rests upon the great truth that the Negro is not equal to the white man, that slavery, subordination to the superior race, is his natural and normal condition. This, our new government, is the first in the history of the world based on this great physical, philosophical, and moral truth. And the fact of the matter is that the uh, founders of this great country could not deal, could not deal, with the problem of state slavery, and uh, still bring the uh, country together in a, in a in a in a union. Um, I was thinking of uh, who was it? Patrick Henry, "Give me liberty or give me death." Was he the one that said that? I think so. Oh, he owned over a hundred slaves. So the hypocrisy has been built into this country. It was with the founders. It is with us still. And that is our Neptune. Hypocrisy. Let us faith the truth and get on with it because we've got a great and joyous work to do to save ourselves and our world. Anyway, I hope you're well. I hope um, I've started making masks again. Um, it's something to do when I'm bored. Anyway. I love you. Take care. Take care. Bye-bye.